Tiger Woods was the star attraction when he let it rip on the first hole of the Masters Thursday, and he didn't disappoint. The four-time champ marked his return to golf after a self-imposed five-month layoff due to a sex scandal, and clearly the Masters Gallery was glad to have him back. On the ground, that is. Up above, not so much. Woods looked like he hadn't missed a day of play, making an I'm back statement with his best opening round ever at the Masters of four under 68. I got into the flow of the round early. I got into the rhythm of just playing and hitting shots and thinking my way around the golf course and ball placement. While he was clearly the star of the show, Woods had to take his bows with others on day one. Last summer, Tom Watson mesmerized golf fans. The then 59-year-old came within one hole of winning a sixth British Open and becoming the oldest winner of a major. The two-time Masters champ is back for an encore. Watson matched his best score ever at the Masters with a bogey-free 5-under 67. Needless to say, I'm really happy. You know, today was a... Um, you know, it turned, it turned, turned me around uh, playing this golf course. I hadn't played a, a decent round of golf at Augusta National for uh, I don't know how many years. Two-time Masters winner Phil Mickelson is among those a shot back with the 60-year-old Watson, who's won eight majors. After what he did at the British Open, you think, you know, he, he could keep this up. He's going to be a real factor in this event, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was. Watson was good, but another of the older set was even better. 50-year-old Fred Couples is the first-round leader after he fired an impressive 666 to give him a one-shot edge over five others. Covering the Masters, Jim Militello, the Associated Press, Augusta, Georgia.